over the years or this year um, there's so many disasters and all that and uh, I'm so proud of you I'm very pleased that all of you I mean around the world have been extending my love to every corner that is needed you know we do the best we can to comfort the living and to save the dead I mean their souls it's important that their souls are safe not their bodies I mean, okay, if we can save the body, we do that as well. But if not, more importantly, it's the souls. When the souls leave the body, yeah, we we'll take care. That's more important than even giving aid. But we do both, eh? We do both. Yeah. Yes. That's the best way. That's the best way. I cannot think of anything else better to give to society than what we're doing. No? Yeah. yeah. We help spiritually, silently, or quietly with books, with tapes, with talks, with uh, your beautiful energy, and we also give material. Ed, yeah, I don't think we can do any better than that. No, I don't think anyone, any group on this planet does better than what we do. So I'm very proud of you, and I thank you also, all of you out there. <laughs> thank you, Master. For being a good example, yes. Although sometimes you think I'm not with you physically, but I know what you're doing. <laughs> I know you're doing good things, yeah, mostly good things. And sometimes a little mistake here and there. Sometimes with karma also, you know, karmic patterns sometimes uh, pull you into some difficult situations, yeah, and you get a little confused. But there's only one thing you must do. In any confusion, there's only one thing you must do. Only do things that are good for you and good for others. Anything that's harmful to anyone, just don't do it. No matter how much karma forces you, you just don't do it, and that will be very simple. Hmm? Rather, by uh, mistakenly harm yourself or take disadvantage to yourself, but never, even in doubt, yeah, never make a mistake of harming anyone else, never. Even if it looks like, you know, it's the best solution, we just don't do it, yeah? Just nothing harmful to anyone, then you are always on the right path. Even if we lose this physical body, we will not lose anything more valuable, yeah? That is spiritual merit. This is more than physical body. Yeah, that we have forever. Mm. So it's always the same. No confusion, no trouble, just don't harm anyone, yeah? When in doubt, then always lean on the compassionate side. You know, when you think, oh, that person may be bad or something, but never try to hurt him back. Because you never know, maybe you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. And even if you're right, we just lean on the compassionate side. And that's always safe. Always safe, yeah? And because heaven is always watching, huh? Heaven is in our conscience as well. No need for Master to be there constantly. <laughs> we know everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. If whatever we do is wrong, even if nobody sees it, but we see it, and God will see it. Yeah? Angels. If all the people on this planet could see their own aura, you know, dirty and smutsy and brown, dark and, you know, <laughs> very muddy, for example, then they wouldn't dare to do anything wrong or think anything wrong. And furthermore, if everyone could see the angels around everywhere, or invisible beings as well, <laughs> nobody would dare to do anything wrong. But the thing is, most people are blind, spiritually blind. So they think whatever they do in the dark, nobody sees it. Everyone sees it. The whole universe sees it. <laughs> That's the problem. All right. Okay, but you guys, I know you're safe because you know the right things to do the major right things, yeah? And a little mistake here and there, okay, you correct it, all right? Don't worry, you're fine. You look good, that means you're good. <laughs> yeah, continue eating, no worry. <laughs> My words will go into your food. The problem is that sometimes we cannot hide, eh, baby? Yeah. We cannot hide. For example, me. I go in a hotel, stay like... Um, anonymous stories. But some of the hotel workers, even an ordinary doorman, they see the aura, and they keep looking, and then they keep asking. 
You know what I mean? Sometimes you cannot hide. You cannot hide from everybody, and sometimes even the police. You know, they 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 look at me and they they think, okay, this is a good girl. So <laughs> no question, because some of them can see the aura. And in one of the hotels I stayed recently, you know, when uh, during my travels, and one of the doormen said to me, uh, he didn't see the whole picture. Huh? Not everybody sees the whole aura. Some see only one particular color. Yeah, like for example, if I have a rainbow range, you know, of aura, he sees maybe only pink color, or blue color, or pink and blue, or maybe gold and white, or white, or just gold, or just silver, whatever he sees. Yeah, and then one guy saw me go and white, and uh, he kept looking at me up there. So I kept asking, "Hey, what did you see?" To tell. <laughs> yeah, he said, "Well, go and white." Yeah, I said, "Well, did you tell anybody?" He said, "No, I didn't, but my colleague also saw it." <laughs> I said, "Okay, okay, keep quiet, huh?" He said, "He doesn't know if he can keep too quiet because if he sees it, he thinks everybody else can see it, you know." I said, "It's all right." So. You see a lot of them, huh? I was just talking. I said, "No, no, no. Maybe a few thousand people go through this hotel. Only one has them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, very rare. He meant like that." So I said, "So what do you think? Why some people have and some people don't?" He said, "Oh, these people must be very pure in the heart and do good things." And、uh, because he told me that he knows me because I come in and out there a lot, you know. And he said, "You are such a good, generous, and nice person." So I'm not surprised to see this. <laughs> yeah, for example, like that, huh? I meet these people everywhere, and sometimes I cannot hide, you know. I can hide physically, but not not spiritually. Some people are blind. Some people are not. So I'm just telling you that whatever we do, some people will see it. Understand? So the aura is just one thing, but some people are psychic. Some people know a lot of things, also, huh? Yeah, but don't worry. You know, sometimes you have to do things according to your karma. As long as you don't hurt people, you know, on purpose, or you don't do anything deliberately, then just ask for forgiveness if you still think it's wrong. Yeah, but we don't hurt anybody, so the wrong cannot be that wrong. It cannot be too wrong. Yeah. Because the big ones we already avoid, so just a little thing here and there. All right, try to cut if you can. Tình yêu sao lạnh băng, tình yêu như địa ngục, tình yêu như thiên.